Hey, Crowd Vibers. Welcome to part five of this tutorial series I'm producing called How to Prepare for a Reggae Music Festival. In part four, we covered making the most of your day and maximizing your music. Now it's time to shift gears and talk about food, drinks, and the local arts and crafts. Let's start with food tips. You should have a food strategy, especially if you're on a budget. We typically grab lunch before we head into the festival so we have more options and can potentially save a few bucks. We usually pack a few snacks in our bag, things like protein bars, nuts, stuff that won't melt in the heat. I've noticed most, if not all, festivals we've gone to have decent vegan and vegetarian options available. I've also noticed that food trucks continue to be a popular addition to festival food lineups. Pro tip, if there's a popular food place at the festival, try to get there early and avoid longer lines so you can get more stage time. One of our favorites is Island Noodles. The food is filling and appetizing, it's affordable for festival prices, and they're pretty quick to cook your order. In part one of the series, I recommended to do some recon and get supplies. What do you do when you get out of the festival, it's approaching midnight, and your food options are limited? Room snacks for the win. And that bottle of wine from the grocery store was way cheaper and probably better quality than that last minute gas station grab. We learned this lesson the hard way, so please take our advice and plan your food strategy ahead of time. Because if you're hangry at the festival, you're not enjoying the good vibes. Shifting gears, let's talk about beverages. Hopefully, you've located the water station and you're staying hydrated. If you're consuming alcohol, pace yourself. If you're consuming other mood enhancers, know your limits. You don't want to require medical attention in the middle of the festival. I've literally watched people pass out during the first band, and it's not pretty. When you're at the bar and it's your turn to order, be ready. The folks behind you, they're getting antsy. Keep in mind, most bartenders are volunteers for the festival. Be kind and tip if you feel inclined. I always try to go back to the same line and the same person to expedite my order. And being nice to people never hurts either. Last but not least, let's talk about vendors. Most festivals feature local arts and crafts. Check out the artwork and talk with the artist. Many festivals have artists doing their artwork live at the event, which I think is really cool, especially those talented people who are on the side stage painting and dancing the whole time during their set. Visit local vendors and see how crafty they are. You never know. You could find a great souvenir for that house sitter or the pet sitter that's helping you out. I think having local arts and crafts is a super awesome way to support the community. That wraps up our five-part series on how to prepare for a reggae music festival. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the crowd vibes, smash the like button, share your favorite videos, and subscribe to get alerts for new stuff. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.